Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss pointers with array and structures. First, pointer and array. In this example, uh, there are total three pointers. First of integer type, then float type and then character type. And uh, also uh, three variables of integer float, float and character types. Suppose first variable is A whose address is 101 second variable is b whose address is 201 and third variable is c whose address is 301 now we are trying to assign address of a into p address of b into q and address of c into R. So the value of P, Q, R will be 101, 201 and 301 respectively. Now if we print values of P, Q and R. So P will print 101, Q will print 201 and R will print 301. So it is uh, quite simple because P, Q, R all contains address of A, B and C respectively. To print addresses we have used format specifier percent %u. Now we are trying to increase each pointer with the value 1. So P++ will increase uh, address which is stored inside P, then Q++ and then R++. So now if we uh, consider plus plus operator output should be 102 202 or 302 but in case of pointer output of p will be 103 output of q will be 205 and output of r will be 302 so you can easily uh, compare both the results and what is the difference? Uh, if we increase integer pointer, it will increase uh, with 2 bytes. If we increase float pointer, then it will increase 4 bytes. And if we increase character pointer, it will increase by 1 byte. So uh, you have to remember a thumb rule that whenever we increase any pointer, it will increase according to its data type. So we can apply the previous uh, slides uh, uh, conclusion on this slide. Uh, there is an array which contains total 5 elements. Suppose base address of this array is 101 with, uh, and value of 101 is 1. So uh, you uh, all know that integer variable occupies 2 bytes. So we can say address of uh, value 1 is 101 and 102. Now what will be the address of uh, value 2? They will be 103 and 104. And what will be the address of value 3? Right, 105 and 106, then 107, 8 for 4 and 109 and 10 for 5. Now we have a pointer P. We are trying to assign address of A0 inside P. So value of P will be 101. So we can say that each pointer uh, stores base address of a memory location. And what is the base address of this array? It is 101. We can also write P equals to A. So if we are using name of any array, so name of any array means base address of that array. So address of A0 and only A both are equal. Now we have this loop. This loop will repeat 5 times and it will print 4 times in each rotation. So first it is printing value of i which is 0. Next it is printing value of a of i. So i is 0, so a of 0 is 1. Then it is printing value of p which is 101. Then it is printing asterisk p. 
सो एस्ट्रिस्क वन जीरो वन वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ वन जीरो वन इट इज वन देन पी प्लस प्लस सो पी प्लस प्लस मीन्स वन जीरो टू और वन जीरो थ्री वन जीरो थ्री बिकॉज वी आर ट्राइंग टू इंक्रीज अ पॉइंटर एंड पॉइंटर विल इंक्रीज अकॉर्डिंग टू इट्स डेटा टाइप सो पी इज ऑफ इंटीजर टाइप सो इट विल इंक्रीज इट्स एड्रेस बाय टू देन आई प्लस प्लस टेक्स प्लेस सो नेक्स्ट आउटपुट विल बी वन देन ए ऑफ वन इज टू नाउ करेंट वैल्यू ऑफ पी इज वन जीरो थ्री एंड वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ वन जीरो थ्री इट इज टू सो Uh, these outputs will be printed five times uh, and uh, with the help of this example you might be able to understand the working of pointer along with array so if we assign base address of any array inside a pointer then we can access all its element using the pointer so we can relate this equation with this equation you can uh, easily compare that Uh, a values of a of i and values of asterisk p are uh, same now there are some points to remember uh, first point is pointer always holds address of a variable pointer only stores base address of a memory location third point is we can declare pointer of any type uh, it is quite simple each pointer occupies two bytes of memory so we can relate this point with uh, point number 2 uh, each type of pointer occupies only base address of a memory so if a pointer stores base address of a particular location and it requires two bytes of memory so another pointer also stores base address so it will it will also occupy two bytes of memory so we can say each type of pointer stores base address so each type of pointer will uh, occupy two bytes of memory next point is pointer dereferences an address according to its data type this is the reason we have to declare different types of pointers and last point is pointer always increases an address stored in it according to its data type so we have already uh, discussed it in previous slides that if we want to increase any pointer then it will increase uh, its address according to its data type so if pointer is of integer type it will increase by 2 if pointer is of float type then it will increase by 4 bytes now these are uh, some programs uh, which you can implement with the help of pointers so first is uh, write a program to read an array and print its sum using pointer then find out maximum from an array using pointer then read a string and find out its length then read a string and copy it into another using pointer so you can implement all all these four programs with the help of pointers uh, next is pointer and structure so we have already studied structure 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 is a collection of different type of elements we can declare variable of structure so s is a variable of structure and p is a pointer of structure variable we can assign address of s into p so s is structure variable and p is structure type of pointer now if we want to access members of structure using variable then we have to use dot operator if we want to access member of structure using pointer then we have to use arrow operator these are some programs which you can implement with the help of pointer and structure relation so write a program to read a student roll number name and marks now print these information using pointer so if you are using pointer then you have to use arrow operator second is write a program to print sum of two complex numbers using pointer so implement these program so that you can understand the relation between array structure and pointers thank you